guys, Stephanie here from Pro Labs. In this video, I'll be talking about CWDM and WDM passive multiplexers, commonly referred to as MUX and DMUX. Passive multiplexers and demultiplexers fit seamlessly into your fiber cable management infrastructure, do not require power, and connect using passive fiber optic patch cables. I'll be going over what they are, their functions, and the applications they apply to. Let's start off with the multiplexer, which combines multiple optical signals into one medium. This saves space when sources are limited. On the other side, demultiplexers take the multiplexed optical signals and extracts them into its separate components by the receiver. There are three typical types of WDM applications that allow for multiplexer and demultiplexers, point-to-point, -point, single fiber muxes, and multi-point optical add drop mux. A point-to-point -point application can combine four or more channels onto a single fiber pair, with multiplexer and demultiplexers at the end of each connection. Similarly, a single fiber multiplexer is also used for point-to-point -point applications, but they can connect standard duplex transceivers over a single fiber. Lastly, a multi-point optical add drop mux can filter up to four WDM wavelengths off of a single WDM link, which makes them accessible to a switch at the drop point. This application is a quality solution that ensures a network to be connected, even if one link goes down. In short, having a WDM system is a cost-effective solution for your telecommunication needs, as it expands your network's capacity without the added cost of laying more fiber. If you are looking for expertly coded and cost-efficient WDM systems, make sure to check out our website or contact your ProLabs reseller partner today. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to give this video a like. For more content like this, subscribe to our channel. For more information, check out our website linked in the bio. See you next time.